WWE 2K20 is right around the corner, or at least it has to be. It's already July and we have no information. The last five years, we've gotten everything in June. Wow, time flies. Today we're going to be talking WWE 2K My Career, which, to be truthfully honest with you, um... Well, my career is not the mode I personally want. If you guys know me and follow me for the longest time, custom stores, GM mode, all that stuff is stuff I prefer more. That's nothing against my career, though, because Triple H has taken over the indies and pretty much controlling every promotion like Evolve and Progress Wrestling. The owners are getting called sellouts and basically being WWE shills. This year, Evolve is running against the charity event. A charity event. Why? If it's your 10 year anniversary, why are you competing straight head to head? So clearly WWE is ruthless when it comes to business. So why don't we step up this my career? WWE 2K19 my career had Baron Blade as the promoter of BCW, which fun fact I actually didn't fully know until I researched this video because my career last year I may have just missed it. I watched the playthroughs. Dankers, not that guys. Sorry, don't tell him. Last year, you basically started with Baron Blade in his promotion. I have a different idea, and this is how I want to start my career. And it's based off the Madden franchise. One of my favorite things, and it's actually the only season mode I do every single year, is inside of Madden. And Madden lets you choose what kind of superstar you want to be. Whether you want to be kind of like a fresh, new... Uh, rookie who gets drafted late. You're a late draft pick, so there's really no expectations. You have the person that, you know, has potential, and you have the superstars. I would like to see something like that similar with the WWE 2K My Career. Rather than start in BCW and then work your way into WWE, I'd like branching storylines. Now, they've confirmed last year there was none. You pretty much always ended up against AJ Styles at WrestleMania, and there was nothing you could do to change that. So what I want is the ability to change that at the start. Baron Blade, legendary producer, wrestler, fan famous guys creating BCW. So before, again, I realized he was the creator of the whole damn thing. I thought it would be cool if you had choices. So in my idea, it would be male or female. Obviously, this is a lot more work, so it's probably not coming this year, and it definitely probably won't come for a while. But if you chose a female, then you could have legendary advice from talent that have came up the ranks within WWE. We know WWE works with Evolve and Progress, so let's use those two big names as options. Let's say your goal is to have a certain style of wrestling. You could learn that at the WWE Performance Center, but that's probably a better place to go once you're established, once WWE has ripped you away from the free agent market and wrecked the hopes and dreams of every fan across the globe. Probably seems like the better idea. And then you're stuck down in NXT, and then you get called up to the main roster, and everybody hates you, and then eventually you probably get released and go back to Japan. Sorry, Kenta. The thing that I want the most, though, is you would get to choose. Let's say you don't care. You could just want to go to WWE NXT. There would be, you'd be learning to train. Maybe the moves are harder. Maybe in your class, although in 2K15, I actually hated the Performance Center stuff, so you'd have to make a lot better mini games, maybe gym workouts where you go in and maybe you're not good at gym workouts. Maybe you have to learn and train. Maybe, just maybe, there's treadmills and you gotta run, you gotta work out. What I would do is give you a couple different paths. So one is you're a signed superstar. You're, you're pretty famous. You work around the globe. You're an independent phenomenon. You could get signed right to WWE. And the expectation would be you go to the main roster. Maybe you even skip developmental. Maybe there is not the whole era where you go into NXT. It kind of creates a Road to WrestleMania effect, which going back and playing old Road to WrestleMania, there was so much creative freedom within the mode. These days, it just seems pretty linear. So what I would want is you're a big superstar. You join WWE, but things don't go according to plan. You're a superstar. You're on Raw. You're not winning championship matches. You're not getting booked. Your popularity meter is flailing. People on the internet are raging. All the fans really should integrate social media. One of the best things NBA 2K does is have agents and everybody else tweet you and get really involved. So that could help influence your popularity. One of you guys in my last video actually mentioned a popularity meter, which I think would be cool. Although in WWE fashion, if you got more popular, I mean, you're going to end up in catering. That's just a fact. So what I would do is things aren't going according to plan. And maybe you don't stay around in WWE. Maybe you get fed up and maybe you have to go into Triple H's office and be like, listen, this isn't for me. And, and then he tax on six months of your contract for being injured. I, I don't know how that would play out. Then there's a rocky road and you don't know where to go. So all the scenes they captured in BCW, maybe they could be used for this. Maybe you seek the advice of somebody and let's, for this video, let's say you're Drew McIntyre. He came up in WWE, he was the chosen one, but he left. He went and worked around the globe with these indie companies. Since BCW is already in the game, 
he gets booked and again we're just gonna call Baron Blade Gabe Sapolsky he's working with Evolve BCW building up his name he's becoming a big deal again and eventually WWE is probably gonna come calling and wanting him back so then you have decisions do you go back or do you not go back spoiler you go back because they're not gonna give you that many branching storylines come on so then you're in the situation where you're going back it's the turmoil which real life things happen in WWE look at Derek Bateman EC3 he left went to Impact Wrestling and one of the actual only times I watched Impact was pretty much all of EC3 stuff I don't know what it was about it him the one percenter and he comes back to WWE and he's doing nothing and getting knocked out with a chair by Seth Rollins so obviously if you left to go to BCW and Baron Blade took you under his wing he could show you how to really make it because you didn't get that time down in WWE developmental learning the Albert way or the, what's his name I'm actually free. oh Matt Bloom you don't get trained the proper way with Matt Bloom so obviously you need Baron Blade the logical guy so Baron Blade gets you back up there and boom you come back into WWE and then maybe again you're probably gonna have the same match against AJ Styles at WrestleMania anyway but it would give you some options like Likewise, let's say you're a new talent. You have no idea what you're doing and indie companies aren't for you. If you had something like a popularity meter, maybe since you have such limited moveset, maybe you could get booed out of the arena at a BCW show. Maybe BCW fans don't even want you. So the only place for you to go is WWE NXT. You have no lifts, you have no moves, you have no nothing. You're literally starting from the ground floor because honestly, it seems like that's who WWE wants because God forbid you're like John Moxley and actually care about having promos and being in the wrestling business. Eh, that's no place for anybody like that in WWE. We want the people that solely are just there for the job. So you learn the WWE way. You don't know anything else outside of the business other than the way WWE does hard cameras. So then let's say you don't get booked properly and you eventually leave the company and you go to indie shows. That WWE style is not going to translate to the indie stuff. We all know that. It's, it's, you know, look at the hard camera. Look at everything else. You don't have the guy screaming at Kevin Owens saying, no, 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 celebrate to the hard camera. And he tells him to shut up. These are the things that you're branching out could have a lot of different options. But let's say there's a third one. You're a super star who's around the globe he's traveling he's getting booked places but he have not really got that big match kind of like fighting for my family with Paige you could have this scenario where maybe you're getting scouted by WWE maybe you're working with progress or evolve and you have a tryout maybe it goes good and maybe it doesn't but you get offered a contract and you could choose to stay on the indies and learn your craft some more maybe there's an epic promo package that's built taken from the highlight reel of all your accomplishments and again you're eventually gonna sign with WWE because let's be honest unless you're Billy Ospreay I mean, you're probably going to end up at WWE at some point. So maybe Matt Bloom gives you the motivational message that Vince Vaughn gave Paige's brothers. Listen, kid, you're just a jobber. You're there to make everybody else look good. You're not there to be a superstar. So then, because again, WWE's already working with progress and evolve, you could have headlines. Imagine if they actually put in kind of like a smart mark dirt sheet computer. Remember back in the day in the SVR games when you had the computer, you had the headlines? Do the same thing but have the headlines from the indie shows. Evolve has been appearing on WWE.com for the longest time, and so it's progress. Let's, let's keep this going and bring it in game. The superstar that turned him down. And maybe if you turn down WWE, Triple H holds that against you. So when you're coming back to WWE and you're being booked, it's gonna be a problem for you. So these are just some of the ways that I think you definitely could go about it, is you have that tryout. Maybe you're in a dark arena in the O2 or wherever you would scout. Is that where London normally has in the O2 arena? I think it's the O2 arena. You go in there and again, you'd have the trial match just like you would down in the performance center so they could scout you. You would get results on what you have to work on. Maybe you're on the indies and then you're using that VC because at some point you're gonna be buying VC. As you're buying that VC in-game currency and you're building up your character, maybe you get a shot again at a scouting opportunity or you know like black mirror if you've ever seen that series maybe you have to pay for an evolved tryout so like wwe is doing now with Gabe polsky hey you want to end up on an nxt show pay us money for the seminar so then you can go to evolve and have the progress but the entire concept will convoluted is simply just what kind of wrestler are you where do you want to learn your craft do you want to be a british strong style wrestler do you want to be in progress so you learn that kind of style whether that style translates to the WWE will be up to you and how you perform as a superstar. How your popularity and how your performance affects that would change your character attributes and build everything around it. Likewise, if you're a massive superstar coming to the company, there's huge expectations on you to carry the company. Maybe the pay-per-views don't go according to plan. Maybe instead of playing every single match, and again, like I heard somebody say today, Universe Mode is just exhibition mode, which isn't true. I mean, you have promos and matches. 
God damn, it really is expedition mode. So as you chose your career path, either being a new talent, an indie star, or a superstar, you then build your car. And then as you're building your car and you're going through your my career, there's more options unlocked. So if you do just want to be a superstar, you don't want to go through the grind of VC. And technically they're saying you're not going to buy VC, but at some point, again, you will buy VC. But let's say this game, you don't buy VC. You would get more like an accelerator for your character. If you started from the bottom, you would have to obviously grind a lot more. You'd probably have a lot more matches. You'd have to build up your name and build a cult following to get you those showings. Again, if you chose the superstar path, you would get more finishers, more moves unlocked, more availability, and I don't even know what you unlock in my career. Somebody's gonna have to let me know what's the best thing you can actually unlock or do in towers or anything. I've, I don't think I've ever played any of those game modes to actually get any of the unlockables. So like in the Madden games, you have specific expectations for your character. So that superstar down at Evolve, if you look at the way WWE is integrating Evolve nowadays, they're going back there. And some of the best promos are coming out. Tommaso came out of there, Johnny Gargano. You can have Drew F packages. And as they go back and really Evolve just becomes WWE 2.0 and Gabe Spolsky slowly integrates to take over everything, it becomes a situation where maybe you're getting mentored by them. So you're back in Evolve. They can have cutscenes with former Evolve talent. They can have people that have been there, like Adam Cole like Johnny Gargano, like Ricochet. They can have those people give you advice. You can record voiceovers. You could give them like, listen, kid, you're, you're doing this. This is what I would do. You know what I mean? So it builds up your character and progress. That would be a great way to introduce the progress superstars. Anybody that came from progress, off the top of my head, I literally cannot think of any that really built their name in just progress alone, the, the punk rock scene. But you could have those kind of cameos. If you go to WWE NXT, you could be just sitting in the Performance Center one day and legendary Shawn Michaels, who's now probably your head coach in the game, comes strolling by. One of the things I wanted the most in my career are like promo classes. The ability to go in and maybe learn and better understand the choices you can make with promos. You could sit there, it'd be cool eventually if there was a way that, not VR or anything, but a way to, you know, get in the action and be a part of it. In the backstage is the green screen, so your character can just go in and practice. So you get up, you stand up, and you can drop some lines rather than going out there and using the, the, the weird promo mechanics in front of a live crowd. So as you have gym workouts backstage in my career, you could have promo classes and you could learn. And obviously if you're on the independents, you have to do that stuff yourself. Whether or not you're learning from the legendary Baron Blade down in BCW at his training school, or whether you choose to apply your craft in Evolve or Progress Wrestling, there's different options for everybody. Again, like I mentioned, Shawn Michaels or any of the male superstars, if you have Beth Phoenix, you run in and you have a promo, because Beth is working with WWE. You could have legends like Trish Stratus give you advice on how to get over. You could, just like WWE with WWE Evolution, get your dream match against the superstar you grew up watching so they could bring back a legend for your ultimate match. There's a lot of stuff they could do with my career, and I definitely think these options would allow it. It's nothing too crazy, just like BCW got introduced. Three starting options, BCW with Baron Blade, apply your craft on the indies with the two companies that WWE works with, or go straight to WWE. It all intertwine in one way or another, you probably end up at all three of them. So really, the choices may not necessarily matter, but it would affect everything from your starting abilities, your moves, how over you are, whether WWE is gonna bear you in catering, all that good stuff. So these are, just, these are just some of the ideas I have for my career, because I definitely think the path where it's not as linear, where it gives you choices and options is the best thing. Like I said, I play Madden every single year. It's the one career mode I could tell you more about than WWE, which is pretty sad. Nothing necessarily against WW2K, I just had no reason to really dive in fully to my career. You'd think that, that's probably why the channel, you know, making videos and stuff. So then a way to tie it all back in, if you did go to WWE, or if you did ply your craft and evolve, or progress, just like WWE is doing now, they've already set the tone. You already are going back to the Evolve show, so you'd have your stomping grounds, you would get to go back and go back to the place that made you you, kind of like BCW. Where if BCW made you famous, WWE had a working relationship with them, you can go and headline their biggest pay-per-view and put over one of their talents, and Baron Blade could give you a handshake and a hot dog for doing him the favor. So these are just some of the ideas I have, which, again, are pretty jumbled, but just give me more options for my career. Don't give me one thing to do. Let me choose if I want to be the superstar. Let me choose if I want to sit in catering or let me choose if I'm ready for the ultimate grind, which I'd consider the WWE 2K My Career Tower 
where you're going to play math match after match after match after match non-stop matches oh god that doesn't sound very fun at all okay maybe i really overthought this maybe i should just let 2k have the my career the choices are good so why don't you guys think if my career could do anything think outside of the box think anything that you could do I thought, realistically, with Evolve in progress, they could find some way to put it in the game. Progress's name and Evolve's name would get out there, or WWE would probably rename the, the companies and just label them BCW or any kind of promotion like that, and that'd be fine too. So I wonder what you guys think. Anything you could put into my career. Give me one thing that my career is missing. Is it replayability? Do you like a one-time playthrough? Would you like the option for branching storylines to let you do whatever, so that way anybody else you're playing up against, you and your buddy can compare? This this is what I did. This is what my guy did. Or do you like the experience you have now? Maybe WWE 2K doesn't need to reinvent my career. Maybe you just like playing through the story. Or maybe just the matches. Or maybe you like the legends and everything we're talking about doesn't really matter to you. So that's where we're going to wrap things up as my career is one of those things. I may have to go dive into it and check out my career. And if I do check out my career, what's the one thing I should look forward to the most? Because to be honest with you, now that I think about Baron Blade and Cole Quinn and AJ Kirsch and every tweet he's ever liked of mine, I think he's just really wanted me to play my career. So I'll go check out my career, guys. But until next time, we will see you all later. Prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins are sober. My run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause check out prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins are sober. My run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm